Oh my god! Good morning guys, how's it going? Now today, I'm going on a little adventure. Vodafone are sending me to go discover two roam-free countries in Europe because they've just ended European roaming charges in 50 destinations. Woo! I'll be heading to the Basque Country in Spain and also Berlin in Germany, which are two of Vodafone's roam-free destinations. I'm gonna be taking part in more unusual and off-the-beaten track activities. And the best thing is, I don't have to rely on Wi-Fi because I can just use my data like I do at home with no additional charges. So without further ado, I think we better unbox our Samsung S8. And here we are, the Samsung S8. I'm so excited for this phone. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? If I can get into it, here it is! Look at this bad boy. I am so excited to use the camera. 12 megapixel camera. I'm gonna take some cool photos. It's also got some very fast wireless charging and I think that's what we need to do because I don't think it's got any battery. So let's do that before we hit the road and then we're off to the airport. Let's go! Here we've just arrived in uh, San Sebastian and uh, it's raining. It is raining, that is right, but it's not going to stop us from having fun, guys. Someone's left a door open. Better shut that. And here we are. Right, cramming the lift. We got oh my it. god. Hold on. I'm going to get crushed. No! It's pretty good. You know, it's, it's comfy. It's a bit. A bit creaky. So this afternoon, I'm going to a language school to learn Basque. Basque is a language with no known linguistic relatives spoken by about 660,000 people, mainly in the Basque country, um, in the north of Spain and the southwest of France. And then I've been set a challenge that I need to book um, a table tonight at a restaurant and I'm not allowed to speak any English whatsoever. I've just got to speak bass. You wouldn't think I was in Spain, would you? Look at this wind. Wind, we've got rain. Oh my goodness. No, no, no. It's really raining now. Why have we come down here? This is not giving us any shelter. Oh, it's so cold. Right, we need to go, but I don't want to. I'm getting you. I need this umbrella. So we're looking up some phrases. We've got Welcome. Ongi etori. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna be good. I can't pronounce it. Okay. Good night. Uh, good night. Gabon. That's gonna be the the easiest thing I'm gonna say. What else? No is es. Yes is bye. Um, uh, excuse me. Barca tu. Zonte on, which is good luck, and that's what I need. Right. Here's the classroom. I haven't been in one of these for a long time. <laughs> I'm actually nervous. This is the teacher seat, guys. You don't want to annoy the teacher. I've got to be on the good side because I was told that if I'm good, I can have a sweet. So that's my incentive right now. <laughs> right. Here we are. We're in the classroom. We're about to learn. She's quite scary. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Hello, Kaijo. Kaijo. Kaijo, I'm learning quick already. Oh. Arat Saldion. Ah, ah yeah. yeah, you see. Good. good afternoon. There we are. That was a good one. Nire cena, ushueda. Bye. Gizon honek, gustia, or dain du kodu. This means this gentleman will pay for everything. <laughs> <laughs> but 
about to count to ten. Bat. <laughs> B. Iru. Laur. 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 Laou. Laou. Uh-huh. Laou. Laou. Bost. Say. Saspi. Yeah. Zortzi. 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 Bederatu. E. No. Bed. Bederatzi. Bederatzi. Yes, that's one. Hamar. Round of applause for Ollie White. Yes. Woo. So maybe like, hello. I would like to book a table at your beautiful restaurant. Wow. <laughs> okay, maybe not the beautiful restaurant. I would like to book a table. Mm -hmm. No yawning in class. <laughs> Have you written for that? I would write that. Holly? Yeah. yeah? What are you doing? Uh, she was helping me. We're about to do this. I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. I'm really nervous. Okay, cool. Kayaks, haya batautu nariko nuke garu gurato possible da. Sorry. Kayaks, maha ba haratu nariko nuke garu gurato possible da. Um, have you reservations? Uh, lo, uh, uh, lo personentat zote teritran Mercedes? Dos personas para esta noche. Uh, lao? Lao personentat? Okay, one moment please. Hello? Hello, uh, kayo kso ma... Maha bat harutu nariko nuke gau gau atu possible da. Sorry, but I don't understand very well. Lau put sonentat zote taritan Mercedes. For tonight, no. Okay. Bye. Para cuatro personas esta noche. Pero aquí va el mago ya su vez, es muy correnado. Uh, 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 oh, seven, Eskari Kak Askoagu. Bloody hell! Yes! Okay, I may not have won the challenge because they asked for a phone number and I, I, I didn't do that, but I booked a reservation in Basque. Boom. It's time to go for dinner and uh, maybe go and meet our friend that we uh, spoke to on the phone <laughs> a couple of hours ago. Everyone else's menus is in English and mine is in blooming Spanish. I guess I've just fooled them. Oh yeah, this looks so good. Oh well that meal was amazing. It's still raining but I've been told that it's going to be sunny tomorrow which uh, which makes me happy. So today's vlog has come to an end. So I'm gonna go to bed, but I'll see you in the morning in a second. Bye! Good morning, guys. It is day two. We're off to go get some breakfast. Oh, it's the beach. Look at this. Oh, I almost wanna go on it, but I definitely would not wanna do what this guy's doing right here. Oh no, I bet that's freezing, that water. <laughs> if he falls in, he's gonna have a very bad day. <laughs> oh yeah. I feel like I've really ruined my eggs benedict routine of wherever I go, but I'm a fan of this granola. This guy is crazy. What is he doing? He's going for a swim. Guys, the walking speed limit is five miles an hour. You're walking too fast. Slow down. That's not five miles an hour. Slower. Slower. That's it. That's five miles an hour right there. Excuse me, sir, in blue. That is not five miles an hour. Slower. No, he's overtaken. He's overtaken on a red line. To the cider house we go. I am very excited for this because I am a big fan of apple cider. Apple cider is just the best. And especially when it's sunny as well, which it's starting to be. Yesterday was a bit rainy, but today is looking good. Look at all these apples. Now, these are just doors. So they open the doors when a chuck arrives and all the apples go down there. They're then cleaned and then uh, sent off to the factory. Well, the factory next door. Oh, is this all the different ciders they make? I've got some apple tasting going on here. Listen. Oh, 
Mmm. Very sweet. Squeezed it. There's a wheat apple. Are you yeah, sure it's sweet. sweet? This little device works out how sour the apple is. Uh, it's like a <laughs> telescope. <laughs> you can hire me. I've got it already. We have a new worker. You know what? You could have some apples from my <laughs> apple tree at home. We have loads and we just bash them all off because there's so many. So this right here is the containers where they keep all the cider. Imagine how much cider is in that. And then I think these are the new presses and we're going to go see an old one outside now. We more. And if you welcome here, please look inside. Oh! So back in the day, this is how it was done. So you got this old big press machine here, um, and they put planks of wood on here on top of the apples, and then lowered these bits down so it could crush the apples. They put a bucket under here, and it comes out that little hole there. Whoa! Look at all these. It just smells like alcohol. More tables behind. It's scary! Wait, no, you're Oh my god. Wait, what? No, this is more Oh, that's cool. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen! There's more! There's loads of them. It says 18,000 litres of cider in this one barrel. Right, let's do it. I have to return with the video. Okay, we're going remember, for it, buddy. Remember, the problem with the cider is because it's very, very easy to drink. And it mm. has alcohol. <laughs> it's nice. It's a little sour, though. I thought it was going to be sweeter. Okay. It's nice. This one has English cards like Oxen. The Andrews were still in the past. I think I'm doing a better job And here is our meal. Bread. Let's go! Oh! <laughs> oh, there we are, look at this. Oh yeah, got my cider, ready? Some good cider right there. Right back to, oh, bloody hell, this is going to crash into me. Right back to the hotel we go. I'm proud of all these people, although it's not really hot, they are making an effort and they are sunbathing. Here we are, right, let's... Hopefully not get it in the shoes. Ollie White TV, subscribe. Hold on a minute, we have a competitor. Bodas Plata 1992. What does that mean? The waves are coming! Come on then, come get me! You stupid wave. See what you got. Oh, 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 oh my god! It's gonna get you. Look at these streets. They're really cool, well, apart from the scaffolding, but these streets are really cool. We're in a square at the moment. Look at that. <laughs> We've decided to come to this restaurant because it has brownies, cheesecake, and uh, flan, and what well, looks like rice pudding. Oh my word, we got two slices of brownie. This is crazy. Oh my god. That's good. I spilt something on my top. Look at that. Wait, can you even see it? Where is it? Oh, it's there. Look at that. Ruined a perfectly nice white t shirt. Well, there we are. That is day two over, but stay tuned because day three is coming up right now. Good morning, guys. What is this? He's flipping, chucking it down. It is raining. I've got an umbrella, though. I've got an umbrella here, right? I'm gonna get it out. Get this bad boy out. Bloody hell. Hold on. Nearly done it. How do you do this thing? Oh, wow. Okay, that's cool. Now that is what you call commitment. They've woken up this morning and said, right, regardless of the weather, even if it's chucking down with rain, the sun is not in sight and it's freezing, we're going to go for a dip in the sea. Oh, my selfie game is strong. Look at that. So uh, the Samsung S8 has uh, like a wide angle selfie mode and you can get some big old wide angles. Look at that. Okay guys, the challenge is someone needs to find the weirdest looking fish, okay? That's the, that's the challenge. You ready? Three, two, one, go. Right. Let's find the weirdest looking fish. What is, I mean, they're all pretty weird looking to be honest. What's around here? Um, I mean, I mean, that's a pretty weird looking fish to be honest. Okay, this one just looks scary because he's got teeth. Okay, this fish is pretty weird looking and so is this fish. So they're winning so far. And the winner for the weirdest looking fish is... This one because it's, <laughs> it's got a chunk of lettuce stuck in its mouth. Why is, it, why is there just bits of random lettuce everywhere and then, then this one's eating it? We've found this really quirky little fubar. We're going to go for one of these little beef tapas things here. Right, we've got it. It's time for a little taste test. 
good. It's actually really good. The beef's like so tender. So we have another one and this one is dark. I actually really like this tapas. It's, it's very good and they've got lots of different options as well. Oh my god, I want to go on that! I've seen a lot of vending machines in my life, but I've never seen a vending machine you can order a burger from. Like, that surely is not going to be a very nice burger, right? And you can get, hold on, you can get a chocolate waffle as well. These vending machines. What else is there? Oh, well, you can get your... I can't film that, but that's very interesting right there. Well, thank you very much, San Sebastian, for having me. We are continuing the adventure. We're going to the airport now. We have a little quick flight to Madrid, to Berlin. I'm very excited to head back to Berlin. I love it there. Hopefully, it won't be raining, but I think it will. But let's go. Let's go to the airport. landed in Madrid. Now it's time to catch a flight to Berlin. To Berlin! It's uh, it's definitely colder here than it was in Spain, but um, it's nice. I love Berlin. Oh, we've arrived! Whoa, look at this. Okay, this is pretty awesome. Oh, oh, they're bloody comfy. They are. Right, I am knackered from traveling. I'm gonna head to bed, but I'm gonna see you in the morning right about now. Good morning, Berlin. How is it going? What is up, guys? It is day four today of the vlogs. I am very excited because we are meeting someone who does graffiti. Well, firstly, we're going around Berlin having a look at loads of cool like graffiti art that is here, which is famous in Berlin. And then uh, we're meeting someone who teaches it. They're going to teach me and I'm gonna do a bit of graffiti. What is going along here? Oh my word. Someone very important, I presume. Wow, look at this building, guys. It looks so modern. <laughs> no, I know, it's like a, it's like a wrapped building. How cool is that? You just, you, you can buy a house now and you can just wrap it whatever you like. You can just transform it into a palace by just, that is actually crazy, that's so cool. Look, like the whole thing is just this plastic. It's mad, it's flipping huge as well, and it goes all the way down here. This is where we're gonna be eating tonight. This thing, you see the little spiral pointy thing up here? It's like a 360 restaurant and a bar. This building is just huge. I'm almost gonna be scared to go up there. I feel like we're on a bit of a college school trip right now. So I just used one of the public toilets here in Berlin. Uh, you have gotta pay a euro to get in, but I've received this. It is a 50 cent voucher, so I get 50 cent off my next trip to the toilet. We're getting on a train. This is new. I didn't think we were doing this, but it, we are. We're going for it. Right, we've got to scan our ticket. Scan it. Come on. Oh, it stamped it. Oh, wicked. That's a scary <laughs> So we've just arrived in Friedrichshain. Uh, we have a tall guy called Curtis, who I'm going to introduce you guys to in a minute. We're just understanding about like the difference between like street art and graffiti. So Curtis just said that um, these are images of, of women like dancing. And what the artist does is sticks them on the wall with glue and then he puts glue all over the wall and then throws up loads of confetti to make it look like they're dancing in like a, I don't know, they're just in their own little world. Yeah. This is Curtis. Well, what you probably don't know about tags is what it really, really represents or what graffiti in its core really represents. 
a lot of people think it's just us running around throwing our names everywhere and well, technically it is kind of that <laughs> uh, but there's a lot more to it uh, you have to keep in mind that we're usually poor kids we come from the hoods and the hoods are usually the most type of people that are forgotten about. They just kind of get thrown away. Uh, what is a better way of making a mark saying that you are here, that you are alive, that you are part of society than actually putting your name everywhere? So this is tagging. We're now going to find out what bombing is. All around this place is just graffiti, just everywhere. This is bombs. Right. Uh, bomb is basically two colors. Some people like to mix a little extra third for, you know, extra little flair. But it is to be simple, you know, it's to show that you can do your name much, much, much bigger. And you want to use good contrasting colors, like a good chrome and a black. So this is then called a masterpiece, and uh, there's like, it's quite strange, but like with... So how, how, would you how would you best describe it, Curtis? So like, someone would not touch this masterpiece, would they? No. They shouldn't. But look at this, like, it's just mad. Like, I think for me, this is like the craziest, like, part with graffiti, when people can do things like that like the detail and just how it looks is just unbelievable and that's done with a spray can as well this is mad what was so what does this like represent so that's someone's name yeah this is him just putting a character with it that's the wow. thing about we got here a little teledisco um i'm a little bit scared but curtis is making me doing it right we're gonna have a party oh god a hit list what should i dance to guys oh my god what is this what Okay. Oh my god, the door's shut. Right. Oh my god! What? This is mad. Right, let's do fog. Stroke. Oh my god! Yes! Oh, oh, stop. We want fog. Oh. Where's the photo? What? Surprise. Disco ball. What is happening? This is the smallest disco on earth. That is amazing right there. And it's done. How did you find that? You, you got it, you're trapped in there forever now. Oh my god, you didn't you didn't you didn't get out before it stopped, you're now locked. Oh my god. <laughs> well that was well worth it. I've got some photos as well. We can't see my face, but. I'm in it, so it's all good. Oh my god, this uh, this graffiti on here that happened this morning. Look at these. This is like another level. I think they have they must have like almost like classes with little stencils and stuff. But it's mad. It's like so much cool stuff, so much cool stuff. And I've just been told that one of the artists here is like the real deal, and I I must not film him. So. Uh, I guess he's pretty big in the graffiti world. Okay, so we're here at an art studio. We are now going to be doing some stencil um, artwork. We have a load of stencils on the table here. Uh, so I need to pick out my... Is that, is that your one? The butterfly? The wobbly butterfly. The wobbly butterfly. So I already kind of have a bit of a... A bit of an image in my head of what I want to do. I definitely want to do the canvas fully red. Uh, and then maybe have like a black stencil and then highlight it with some other colors potentially um but they have they have some more in here which i'm gonna have a look at because nothing nothing massively i actually really like the penguin for some reason uh brad he calls me penguin boy no idea why so i almost feel like that would be really appropriate so we got the outfit we got the uh what's this thing called the mask so we don't breathe in any fumes we've got to get changed I'm ready to go. All right, finishing touch. And when you're done, you should have a little something. Whoa, That's so cool. All right. that is sick. So there's a couple of different techniques that we, uh, we learned how to do. So the first one was this one. Um, so basically once he did the outline, he then sprayed it within white, basically gave it the fill color um, and then put the stencil on again and did the black with it. Um, this one was another one he did and basically once he did the first stencil he moved it a couple of millimeters to the right and then did it again and it gives this kind of like 3D effect. So paint cans, is this red? It looks like a really light red. We have 
our red canvas here. We've just got to let this bad boy dry now. It's time now to spray the penguin. Right, I think that's looking good. I promise you we can touch that up. Oh yeah, look at that. That looks so cool. I love that. So now what I gotta do is I've gotta fill in my beloved penguin with uh, some white paint. I'm scared. Right, it's working well. Right, God. Oh my God, no. What if I wreck it? Okay, you gotta be you gotta be reckless when you're an artist. You know, you just gotta go for it. Oh God, I've done it a little bit outside the lines, but oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah. So now I put the canvas under this light, which is, uh, I think it's for keeping like lizards warm, <laughs> but it's, uh, it's gonna dry the white paint so then we can do the black paint over. What I've done now is um, so we've got some yeah. like white little sprinkles around the edge, but we've also got like almost like a glow around the edge. So then when we do the black stencil, the penguin will be outlined black and then it will look like there's like a white glow behind it. It's gonna look good. Gonna go for it and ready. Three, two, one. Oh yeah, that is sick. Oh my god, that looks so cool. And here is my final masterpiece. What is this? It is Penguin Boy. That's my graffiti name. That is what I've done. I love it. I'm really happy with it. Go on, listen to this music. We're going. Well, that was amazing. That was actually so much fun. I've got my. I've got a bit of art here. I've learned a lot today, actually. It was really interesting. I, I used to love graffiti as a kid. I used to go on like all these like different graffiti websites, write my name uh, <laughs> with a computer generated image and then like try and like draw it and trace it and color it in and different things like that. But it was really cool doing the stencils. It's actually like quite easy and you can get quite artistic with it really you can kind of create anything with the stencils ollie white has got his leather jacket on tonight that can only mean one thing we're going for a nice meal we're going to the 360 restaurant bar which i showed you a little minute ago and uh yeah we're gonna be right at the top in the sky pretty scared to be honest oh my god i'm almost scared to go up here take me to the top mum <laughs> it's a very weird t-shirt. I don't know why you'd buy that. <laughs> oh my god, look how quickly that's coming down. And now for all of you, Fuzi Allen. Oh my word! If it's possible, and if you would like to, you can enjoy the view straight up. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> that's how many meters we're going on. And we now need totally 40 seconds to get at 203 meters. Well, here's a pop in. Well, but here's then, a pop in. But, but then you know everything is all right. <laughs> We're going up to the restaurant. We are pretty high up right now. Oh my god, the floor is moving. You spin around. Wow, that is crazy. This area spins around. We were like, oh my god, the place is moving. It's not, the floor's just moving. <laughs> Look, you can see it. Ready? You see it? <laughs> oh, I've done it right here. We've got some beef, we've got some vegetables, and then whatever this thing is. Meringue, guys, I've done it. I feel really bad, but I've done it. I feel like I'm gonna break it. Please fall through, please fall through. <laughs> oh, it's gotta touch the floor. Well, there we are, guys. That is today done. But don't go anywhere because tomorrow is about to start in three, two, one. Good morning, guys. How's it going? This is the last day of the trip today, and it is raining. We, we haven't had the best luck with weather on this trip, but it doesn't matter because we are off now to Currywurst Museum. That is right. We are going to a museum full of sausages. Imagine driving around and having this guy on the back of your car. Oh, we made it. We're at the Currywurst Museum, the big old sausage museum. Right, where's the biggest sausage in the world? What are these things? Are these speakers? What the bloody... I'm listening to a ketchup bottle. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> That's rather cool. This is a very 
sausage looking sofa. Favourite sausages. Everybody loves them and everybody has their own favourites. We've got the Berlin sausage. The luxury sausage. Ooh, it's got gold on it. For a very special moments in life, currywurst with gold leaf served with champagne. <laughs> okay. The historical sausage. The extra hot sausage. The East German sausage. The sausage and chips. More sausage cut up in chips, and then the taxi platter. Hello, welcome to Germany. Would you like a sausage? One sausage. <laughs> Two sausage. Can I please sausage? have a... A wiener? A loose wiener, please. Loose wiener. There you are. Hand-fed wiener. Thanks. You can't come to the Currywurst Museum without ordering a currywurst. Oh, we got a sausage here. Oh, we got some sauce in it. I think it's maybe ketchup. And I think we've got some curry powder. I'm not too sure, but let's give this a try. Ready? That is a good sausage right there. Thank you, that's really nice. I might, I might finish the whole thing actually. So I've just been having a look at uh, things to see before we leave today and uh, I found Neptune's Fountain. Welcome to the tour guys. This is Neptune's Fountain over here. As we can see, a very powerful man at the top with, with babies surrounding him and it looks like that's like a, a baby horse almost. And then here we have an alligator shooting water out of his nose with lobsters and turtles. Trim looks, looks like he's trying to eat the baby. Yeah, actually, do you mind taking a photo of him on that? Oh my god! Oh my god, Ollie! Oh my god! No, no, no! No! Oh my god, I dropped the phone in the water! <laughs> oh no! Oh. Is it okay? Pranked! It's alright, it's waterproof! I got you, I got you right there, didn't I? Right, well there we are. It is now time to leave Berlin. I'm very sad. I've had a, I've had a fun couple of days here. I've also had an amazing couple of days in San Sebastian as well. But it is time to head back to the UK. Right, let's go. I'll see you in the UK in three, two, one. And we are back in the UK. Thank you so much, Vodafone, for ending European roaming charges because I was able to use my phone while I was away. I was able to look up restaurants. I took some awesome photos on the beach with the Samsung S8. And uh, it's water resistant as well. I, I got you guys with that little prank, didn't I? I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was something a little bit different. It was almost like a, a mini movie of five days into one. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon with another vlog. Bye! Woo!